Hello, as I said in uh, my first vid on the potential election of Arnold Schwarzenegger in 2012 because of the now political convention that perhaps because Obama's birth is in doubt uh, as to whether he was born in the United States then this political convention is being seen over that of the U US Constitution. Now, normally I would say that this was a bad thing, but it does leave the way open for Arnold to run. And Arnold Schwarzenegger has said on, uh, that he would like to run for the presidency. Now, obviously, I would like the US Constitution changed so that it would allow him to do that. Uh, although, jokingly, I might say it would probably mean that Tony Blair would get on the act. Um, but let's talk seriously. Arnold Schwarzenegger has got major popular appeal in the United States as a politician. Uh, why? Well, you could say it's because of his music, movie career. But let's take a, a look at his life. He was in the, he served in the Austrian army uh, as uh, a serviceman who was conscripted, and then he made got a degrees in uh, Western philosophy, engineering and economics and business. Then he went to America and became four times world champion of weight, of weightlifting. This in America has given him his public image, the movie star weightlifter image, but he is a very intelligent person, obviously. Let's put this to the test, shall we, with a, um, a thought experiment. He married into the Kennedy family, which is basically American royalty in that sense. Um, he is a German-speaking, former German-speaking uh, person of Austrian descent, uh, whose uh, father was a, an Austrian policeman during the war, and yet he has become a major politician in the probably in the most powerful state in the entire United States when much of the um, the American establishment is either of dissent or in hock with uh, Zionist end timers and the Saudi princes. This is not a person who should be taken lightly. Our Schwarzenegger is a survivor. He uh, has moved away from the monetarist argument of Milton Friedman, who I said in my last uh, vid, you know, cult leaders can be economists too. Um, he, he, Arnold moved away from that and to the centre. And really what this vid is going to concentrate on most is the, re the relationship between Europe, which is the world's most powerful economy, the world's biggest exporter, and probably the world's most advanced um, social democratic uh, state you know because the European Union is a state and in the European Union everything bit of every bit of spending is audited and voted on that is something the Americans can learn from given the current state of the, their economy now I don't want to ruffle feathers there with the for the Americans I'm trying to help you um, I really seriously believe in the Jeffersonian conception of America and I think you've got a brilliant constitution. Arnold Schwarzenegger also believes in that. He has said many times that he is a public servant, not an official. He, he understands Europe. He has good relations with Angela Merkel, the, the, pre, the um, Chancellor of Europe. Uh, of, of the Chancellor of Germany, and also he has good relations with Herman van Rompuy, the President of Europe, and of course, is a wide uh, name recognition, and is a political figure in his own right within Europe and in Britain. Um, when he ever he makes a visit, it is uh, at something that is quite a major event in Brit in Britain and and in Europe. Arnold Schwarzenegger is multilingual. He at least speaks two languages, English and German, um, and thus, therefore, the goal of making 
the Atlantic, our sea, as in a, a partnership area for trade, free trade between America and Europe, would be a major step forward if he was pres if he was president. Now, on the other subject, Arnold Schwarzenegger has been very open and has changed his opinions on such things as the oil companies and green energy. The major problem of America today is that the, the petrodollar is less linked to oil and so America in a sense is funding its own destruction because the Saudi and Bin Laden crime families control the oil supply in the Gulf and by moving away from that, by moving California onto clean energy, he has made a major step forward in the fight against terrorism. We, are, we lust are all doing our part by going towards clean energy and getting away from oil. Oil, in every sense, is a dirty business. It's a, even more of a dirty business than drugs, although it's not popular to say that. Also, Arnold's support for such things as nanotechnology, for fusion power, will make the, the West much more powerful in, in the future. If America and Europe can stay together, then the forces in history which are pulling Europe towards Russia and America towards Communist China in a symbiosis will be less important. They won't, com they won't stop completely. But Europe and America must be partners. W Europe wants to wake up Anglo-Saxon European America and so therefore it's important for um, Arnold if he in conception if he wanted to run for president I would say just say this I will kill Osama bin Laden I will kill or capture the Saudi and bin Laden crime families I will audit the Federal Reserve and stop federal, central bank corruption I will audit the banking system and prevent the banking system by being pressured from being pressured by terrorists to be the um, middlemen between terrorist groups and business. Uh, I will stop the Saudi and Zionist end timer um, business, uh, business lobbies and I will redirect American foreign policy to peaceful support of the Japanese and South Korean economies and to make Europe and America the two strongest partners together to make the Atlantic a free trade zone. Now, if he said that and said, I will restore the US Constitution to our highest law over political convention, he would win a landslide victory. That's what I would like him to say. What he will say is up to him and for history to play out in 2012 if they let him run. But considering they have let um, Obama run, who is half of half half parentage, American parentage, um, and the conception of America being an open society with citizenship for all and recognizing natural and economic rights. If you want to know what natural rights are, look up Tom Paine and Je Thomas Jefferson, who wrote the U.S. Constitution, and read the U.S. Constitution. It's got a lot of good ideas that should still be applied. If you want to read further into a more modern constitution, look at the Lisbon Treaty of Europe, which is a de facto constitution. Also look at social markets. This is something that Arnold became aware of and has moved towards, and that's driven him towards the centre of politics as well as his relationship and marriage into the Kennedy family. Uh, you can find that out on a website called Tutor for You or Tutor to You on economics. I, I wish Arnold well because I think he can bridge the gap between America and Europe and bring unity and reason to the European America and European Europe. Thank you for listening. Peace.